Hello, everyone, and welcome to part two of our Shadowrun excommunication series. Uh, we're very excited. This is an eight-part series, and I am honored, as always, to be at the table with these fine folks. Uh, we had an incredible session uh, last session. It was all Ooh. combat. Um, but very fun narrative, uh, cinematic combat, which we love here at Realmsmith. Uh, just so everybody knows at home, for those of you that play Shadowrun or are interested in learning more about it, we are playing uh, Anarchy, mostly from a mechanical perspective, which is an alternate rule set for 5th edition Shadowrun. We've also injected some 6th world stuff. And the reason we did that is because we're new to Shadowrun and we wanted a less kind of crunchy, sort of more easy to... Uh, uh, more accessible for, for a beginner or for a starting uh, group of players. And then we'll add and grow as we do. Um, if you're interested in uh, joining our giveaway, you can enter X communication, all one word, X, E X C O M M U N I C A T I O N into the chat, and you will get the beginner box, which I don't have right here. But we will do, uh, Rem is gonna run it to us. Hey, Rem, yay, hey, Rem, okay. Hey, Anyways, you will get one of these in the mail. Shadowrun 6 World Beginner Box from Catalyst Games. It's a great way to jump in as well as a beginner. Lots of stuff in there, that's awesome. Uh, so make sure you add that into the chat. Um, also check out the after show. Make sure that you uh, do that on the Catalyst YouTube channel after this episode airs. Basically the after show is a live after show where we talk rules and uh, discuss what happened in the episode and some of the rules, uh, the changes and things that we've done. And it's gonna be great. Make sure you check that out. Make sure you subscribe over there and follow them as well as if you like what you see tonight, make sure that you subscribe and share and all of that wonderful stuff, Bluetooth, the Matrix wants to uh, Has speed up the announcement, yeah. <laughs> apparently, um, in this time. Anyways, without further ado, let us venture into the shadows. Right, we are back. Last we left you all, uh, you were in the thick of it, in the mess of it. In the thick uh, of it. You <laughs> into the thick of it. Sure um, you found yourselves out in front of an apartment building where a lot of bad things happened. If you haven't seen episode one, go back and see that. Mm -hmm. um, and that was actually uh, a storyline that we started at San Diego Comic Con uh, just not long ago. And that episode should be on YouTube. If it's not, it will be soon, hopefully. And you can check that out. Uh, that was the first time we ever played together. It was our session zero. Yeah. We were actually yeah. playing and fun. learning how to play for the first Super time. Fun. On stage with like 40 plus people there it was awesome. Yeah, it was great. It was awesome. Um, and uh, you were surrounded by uh, Lone Star Patrolmen who opened up the full gamut and couldn't hit you um, <laughs> because the this. GM's dice weren't working. But it was great. It Good was awesome. Today. It was Good luck today. Yeah, it was it was action packed, um, and you managed to escape with the help of our incredible friend, incredible yeah. troll, yeah. giant, incredible, incredible, incredible yes. troll friend. Yeah, your troll friend outlaw, um, who has an interesting connection to some of you that you learned about. Uh -huh. um, at this point, the dust has settled. You kind of regrouped up the street a little bit. You absolutely heard sirens in the distance. You know that they are still looking for you. You know they are coming. And Frayn had asked if Outlaw had maybe a safe house or somewhere you could duck into in order to kind of get out of the thick of what was going on and maybe under the radar of some of the um, law enforcement um, that is on your tail. That is where we left off, that is where we leave you. You are currently on your way, you are following Outlaw. He is weaving in and out of certain streets, and you can tell by the way that he's navigating the streets and navigating the city, 
of Seattle that he knows where cameras are and where sensors are. And so he's, it's a really roundabout weird route that he's taking, but you know, from being taught by him and, and, and trained by him that, um, that he knows what he's doing. Mm -hmm. Finally, he pulls into an alley, part of the wall being a false squad club kind of pulls away. He pulls in, you pull in after him. As it closes, you realize that it's like a high tech sort of garage area. You know this place, um, you have, um, this is where he keeps his bike, this is where he works on his bike, um, and it's kind of the place where he comes to sort of, it's not his home, but it's his workshop, um, and where he works on his weapons. And you can see that there's uh, weapon paraphernalia strewn about. It's dark, it's brooding, it smells of, you know, a really bad whiskey, moonshine, and cigars. Um, some of you may feel at home. Uh, <laughs> some of you may be grossed out a little bit, um, but it's quite musty in here. It just fits his sort of, it's like outlaw personified in here, um, complete with taxidermy. And some of the taxidermy is kind of interesting is like uh, a mix between real and, and like ones that have had cybernetic augmentations. And so some of the, it's like, you know, post Shadowrun specific or Shadowrun fitting. As you kind of pull in, he nods at all of you. He tips the hat. Uh, you can see that he's injured and he excuses himself before he does that he does explain to you that the reason why or how he heard about what was going on is he always keeps an ear on frame um he always keeps he considers himself frame's guardian angel as it were i'd prefer it if he didn't actually go around announcing that to everybody that we meet it's a little embarrassing it's so but... cute yeah. though i know and, and when and when you say that he kind of like tussles your hair and says it's all right and then he uh, he kind of turns around and he heads out and he retires kind of into the back room as he kind of limps over to hopefully stitch himself up or whatever the case may be or just rest. I so he look behind him with concern as he okay. limps away. Yeah. And as he limps away, you can I I relax a little bit. Okay. And this is this is visible. This is like visible to the party. Yeah. Well, uh, welcome everybody. Uh, and there's like a mattress. There's like a twin bed mattress in the corner with a blanket and a pillow that is, you know, looks like it needs to be washed. And I just go right over there and just throw my stuff on there because this is where I crash uh, on occasion. Uh, all right. Well, what's what next? Um, Trigger has been uncharacteristically quiet the entire drive to uh, this safe house, and after uh, the outlaw takes off, uh, she looks for a corner and just goes by herself to try to access whatever data. Data's on Doesn't there. say anything, just like, yep. uh, makes a beeline. You could see she's shaken, like shaken for many reasons. You don't, like, that she's just visibly sure. very, very, very shaken. Sure, okay. With a cursory sort of surface glance at the data, um, you see all the things that you already know. So that is that you've been excommunicated. There's been a price on your head that has been pushed out on all of your heads that has been pushed out to the Shadowrun community. Um, and go ahead. I mean, the data that I downloaded. Can yeah, I, yeah. Is... So that so some of that data was part of that file. Gotcha. Okay. Um, if you want to access deeper, then you'll do a hacking skill and then I'll let you know what you, if you want to use a tracking, you can track the data and, and get admin level access. So okay. right now you're at user level access. Got it, In got order it, to got get it. admin, you got to kind of crack um, it. I just turn over my shoulder and don't look at anyone per se. And I just say very quietly, she says, sorry, I fragged it up and then immediately go in. Okay. All right. Uh, and again, uh, AR wise, just do a, a hacking skill or use one of your, um, one of your programs. And so you could use maybe a track skill and you can kind of track the information if you want to use that, cause that'll give you a bonus right. or it's just so, straight. Yeah. 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 Let me just use it. I'll use a, a track skill. Yeah. So it's, it's hacking. Yeah. It's ha hacking plus logic. And then just whatever bonuses you get from your track. Right. Oh, that's hot coffee. Oh, goodbye. Mom. It is gone. Okay, that's no more. So that was how many now? Because I lost that one. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. All right, and then I'm gonna re-roll two. Nice. All right, so I have three. Okay. Three hits. So how many in all? 
Three. Three? Okay. Um, you're distracted. Yeah. Um, and you're not quite clicking, but you do just manage to, you feel like you just managed to slip through and get access. Excellent. It's like just by the skin of your teeth. Um, and you realize uh, a couple things. First off, off to the side, always in your interface, there's always a god uh, level. Right. Uh, you left a mark already once, and now this is your second mark that you've left in the grid. Right. For the grid Overwatch division. If it gets to a certain number, which is 40, um, sorry, that was three. I don't remember how many you hacked there. Let's say you're at uh, eight, eight of 40. Uh, and okay. once you get to 40, it triggers something and God comes after you. And is there any way to reset? Yes. And so you would have to try and she can reset it with an, with, a, with an ability. It resets over time on its own. It kind of like it's a declining level or you can try and hack it and do it. But then that it causes potential other issues. Right. Okay. Yeah. Um, but it will over time come down. Okay. And it I usually can... takes a day or two to, to kind of All right, so replenish. that's not too bad. All right. I can send a friend to uh, clean up yeah. some of that. Oh, excellent. Some of that, Trace. Some of that yeah, stuff. Yeah, some of that mess. Okay. So I'm at 8 over 40. So yeah. what do I... Yeah. So um, you realize, you learn a couple of things. The first is that you were excommunicated or uh, rather, let's say double crossed by one of the big 10 corporations. That's not surprising. Uh, in Shadowrun, obviously it's run by the big 10. They're part of a court um, of sorts who manage and, and basically dictate the laws and the way that the world works uh, at, at large. And there's a number of corporations. There's lots of information on them. If you want any information on any of them, we can give you that. But bottom line, one of the big 10 was was it, but you don't we, know which one. Okay, but we do know that we hacked into a Horizon building. Uh, it was a Horizon building that you were at. Yeah, it was a Horizon um, dormitory almost. Okay. That you were at for Horizon uh, employees. General price has been put on your heads at 50,000 new yen each. At all. How, in the grand scheme of things, how impressive is that? Um, considering your job, I think was two thousand new yen that you just did. It's fairly significant, wow. but to put a hit on somebody is pretty expensive. Okay. And so that I'd say that's on on the lower end of a hit scale, but it's our job was two thousand, but we got fifteen hundred up front, right? Yeah. What did we get up yeah. front? We, we got, got something up front. up front. We did yeah. get money up front. Yes, we we did. did. Good that we, we did. did. Y'all yeah. negotiated that beautifully. Why? Thank you. All right. Okay. Okay. The other thing that you notice that is incredibly interesting is that there was a mark left behind in the matrix of who was responsible for doctoring that data. Excellent. Um, and immediately you realize and understand why it's so obvious. Um, the avatar is that of a large gauntleted fist with like spikes on it and that is the clear icon of a hacker named bitbucket bitbucket yeah bitbucket bitbucket is an orc decker who has a rival uh hacker that is considered like the best orc hacker uh, orc decker there is uh, and he's always in competition and trying to one up him. So he's much less careful when he does certain things, but he's really good at what he does. And it's clear that he, his mark is on that data. You don't necessarily know why you think it. So it's not he, like these guys are like, you know, Captain Picard and Q. It's not like they're like always fucking with people's lives just to one up each other. This he actually does. There's, jobs. there's a rivalry. Yeah, there is a rivalry, there, but yeah. but but this isn't automatically about the rivalry like no I'm not used no, to no 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 oh, okay, he's just okay. well known because he just of likes to show off he likes to show off he's a little banksy ass he wants to be the best and so he makes people know what he does to be the best but this was deep enough that most people wouldn't know that this is the case you've gotcha. dug deep enough to find his mark okay um yeah and that's what you that's what you get from the data that you have okay if I had rolled higher, would I get more data? Just so I understand how that works. Okay, um, I can always go back. Typically, so that's yes. just a, yeah. So that's just a cursory look. I'm shaken. I'm pissed. I pull back out. Probably too. I come out of the matrix uh, too soon um, to get more information. Yeah. I'm so I, I'm a 14 year old boy. Yeah, I love it. I love it. I love it. Um, 
Um, uh, and if you don't know what that meant, that's good. You uh, clean uh, rates. Uh, uh. Anyway, I came out no and I'm and and I'm just. Uh, uh, hey, you need something? You want? You want? Look, I I practically live here part time. So if you want, uh, one of. I didn't get it all. I didn't get it all. What didn't did you get? get? It all. Well, what did you get? I got this price on our head. I got there's a fifty thousand yen price on our head. Who screwed us over? Someone on the Big Ten. Don't know which one. And. I don't know if you've ever heard the name Bitbucket, but he's the one that placed it there. Bitbucket. Does Bitbucket ring a bell to any of us? Um, I would say none of you that, except maybe you. Maybe. You may, you may have heard Bitbucket kind of on the lips of people as, as a famous hacker just because yeah. you're familiar with the Matrix. The point is, it's bad. It's really, really bad. Whoever, if someone's got Bitbucket working for them, they've got the best, or at least one of the two best. Does it mention Torin? Nothing about Torin. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I fragged it up. What do you mean? I don't know what you're talking about. I should have gotten the full data. I'm sorry. Like, she's need... so... Like, almost seems like a kicked dog ever since she saw Outlaw. Like, 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 like a dog that's been kicked too often. I'm making you a drink. Well, why weren't you able to get all the data? Was there like a block? What was, what's the situation? Because the explosion took out, took out the CPU, took out the unit before I could get it all. I thought I called it right. I called it wrong. I called it wrong. I made it, a mistake. That, I called fine. it wrong. No, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. It's what's fine. happening? Well, you're you're taking too much on yourself. Everything was happening so fast. It's because I'm not the boss. I'm not. None of us are the boss. I don't want to be the leader. I don't want to be boss. I don't want to be... Look, I, 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 I told us what to do. I started putting together a plan. But nobody was j j jumping in. I'm, I'm a big mouth. I talk a lot, but I shouldn't be trusted to make decisions. I make at least two terrible decisions every single day. No one should be listening to me. People should just be telling me what I'm to do. I'm listening to you right now. Beat yourself up and it's not necessary. We all made little mistakes there. It's part of what running is. Part of you the did job, good. Yeah, part of the job is that like we have to act fast. None of us, all of us wing it to some extent at all times. You shouldn't be that hard on yourself. You should and none of us should be that hard on ourselves because I believe that this was a setup. Oh, 100%. The fact that Torn's not even on there tells me why is he not on that list with us? Torn gave us this job. That's who to blame. Why is Torin not on that list with us? Blackballed yeah. from the industry. Torin's too small to have put something like this together. Then he was just a puppet. No. And someone else is behind us. I think Doesn't mean he didn't have anything to do with it. Maybe whoever's paying attention realizes that I'm not next to you all. I haven't said anything. I've slumped into a quarter. I look, I look like I'm dying and that ichor is in oh, my God. face. And you hear what brings your attention to me is you hear... I run over. I'm all right. You see a handkerchief, a little bit of blood, wipes it off, puts it back into the jacket. No one's ever accused me of being a thinking man. But I will say this. One, two, three, four, five. We're all still here, boss. You did the thing. Now, seems to me we're in agreement Someone set us up. We know that fragger. Skelly's got something to do with it. You mentioned the name. Something Bucket. Bit Bucket. We Bit start bucket. there. We find them, her, them. We ask why. We're finding Find Bit, bit Bucket? Finding Bit Bucket, it might be a little bit harder than, than you think. They're one of the best hackers there is. They've got a rivalry going with Number two or number one, depending on who's going on That's any given day. That's where we day. start. I don't mess with the metrics much, but doesn't that tell us that, you know, there's a place to start with Bitbucket then? If he's leaving behind and in competition, don't start with he's, Bitbucket, though. He's gotta be he's gotta be somewhere. We start with his rival. We oh, go there. Oh shit. We find out where he would be, where he could be, his haunts. Do we know that information? Do we know who he's in rival with? If he's leaving, if their if their game is all about leaving marks so that they can one up each other, then I'm sure when we get yeah. into the matrix, we can find. I'll get that information for you once. Thank you. 
we could uh we could ask Frenchie. Because Frenchie called me right in the middle of shit. Who's Frenchie? Frenchie is my connection to weapons. Like he just is, is a supplier. It just showed up. It showed up. He didn't well, he was apparently called right when he was a building over, which I find super sus. But to be fair. He was there? To be fair, he keeps an eye on situations too, because he's an opportunist. He's like, oh, I can help you for this. So I'm not sure how much, I'm not ruling him out, but he could be a source of information if we're looking for Bitbucket's rival. How much money do we all have right now? That's a very private, is it private really information, I think. Immediately you know. <laughs> Bull. Exactly. Bull is the name of the other Bull? Order. Yeah. Do we remember what we got paid up front? 1500. 1500, yeah. But we also have, it's on here. Is that included in our current wealth? I've got. Uh, I think th I think that's in addition to what's Is that in addition right? to this or is that what's yeah. on our character sheets? Yeah, in addition to what's on your in character addition. sheets. In addition. So, so far, sneaky, suspicious people are Torin, who sent us on this mission in the first place. Right. We got Frenchie, who just happened to be there building over. Right. And uh, we have possibly the rival of this. Uh, or Bitbucket can give us some information. Well, there are many ways to skin a cat. Your boy is pay to play. We yep. pull our funds, we make him an offer. We see if he has information regarding this bucket guy and whoever the hell the rival is. Bull. Bull. Oh. We find me. out why. We're persona non gratis at the moment. We got to stay low, but time's a ticking. Right. Let's start there then. Yeah. Do you know how to get to him? Oh, yeah. And she, she like pulls, like taps uh, her little comm piece on her ear and just like his avatar holographic just flashes over in front of my face and you all could see his, his face on my, and like his name. Do we go to him in person? Is it close by? I just, you know what? I just text him at this point and I'm like, on my way, don't disappear. Are you okay? I'll be fine. With my um, uh, biotech yeah. skill or anything, with my with my medical skill, can I just like, if I'm giving him the once over without, I just want to. Does yeah. he actually seem like there's something? Yeah, that give me give me a biotech thing. check. Three, um, which is a logic based, well, it's a logic based skill, not test. Can I use Yeah, so biotech, my... whatever the, 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 just the that. Okay, okay. You, then it's yeah. three. Yeah, sorry, three, three hits. Um, I would say with three, you can tell that um, what he has is something he's had for a while. Like it doesn't seem like it was in injuries caused by mm -hmm. the current combat. You could tell it's an affliction of some sort. Okay. Um, even with the three, because it's very visible, you can see that there are like semi like black veins yeah. that kind of like reach up his neck that look like, again, not like they're temporal, but that they've been there for some time and have been building for some time. He's, he's afflicted with something. Right, and so I do, I do my best to not draw any more attention to okay. that. Okay, so so the plan sorry, so the plan is to go to see to visit Frenchie. Yeah. Okay. Do we know? Did where Frenchie answer? Oh yeah, yeah he texted back. Yeah, he said it. texted back. He said one moment and he said, yes. So we're going to his place where he, his territory, his boutique. Yeah. Um, if people are after us and they know the two of you are connected, how safe is it? I mean. <laughs> as safe as five people who have a hit on their heads have a chance of going anywhere. Would it give us up? I'm sure he would for the right price. So we beat the price. We got a big price on us. Now, knowing him, he's gonna definitely use that to his advantage and try to bleed us for whatever we have, but How we don't do have- How much do you trust him? I mean, at this point, 
besides everybody sitting right here, I don't know who to trust. So I would keep information to a minimum, see what he can tell us. I'll tell you one thing I learned from our buddy outlaw that helped us was patching himself out there in the back room. He once told me, if you ever need to have a conversation with someone that you don't trust, then you don't have it on their territory. You go and get them when they're not looking and take them somewhere that you know is safe. I like the way that sounds. Does anyone else have a safe house other than here that we can take them to? This is the only safe house that I know of, right? I might know some. Yeah, you have, have your residences. Um, uh, all of you have fake sins, so it, it depends on whether or not they know who you really are, where you really live. There's chance, obviously, your I, place has been compromised because all of your belongings were in the apartment that you were just. Yeah, I haven't told them about that yet. So we got to assume. Like, the worst. does kidnapping within the Matrix work? Is that a thing? Uh, it, oh. if he was in VR, yeah, yeah. So yeah, it, if you could, VR. Yeah, yeah. You, could, yeah. you could absolutely potentially if, but they'd have to be in VR as well. Let's get him in there. Can you get him to meet you there? I'll try. I'll Can give I him. A, I'll give him a. I'll yep. give him a. Spa, uh, I'll give him a place. Um, I'll help. Okay. However, I can't. Can. Do you want to? Uh, is there any place you could be nearby where you can be within earshot or? GM, is there anywhere nearby where I could be in earshot in the yeah. Matrix? Basically, I mean, you, create, you have open. your host, right? Yeah. And so you can create a construct or have constructs saved. You probably have a bunch of different places that look like the real world of varying degrees. And that I would have a firewall up on, and that's yeah, the only way It's just like people... another movie of the same name, where yes. basically, like, when you go in, it feels like the real world. It can. It can feel right. like a video game. Right, it can right, feel 2-bit. Right. It can feel 6-bit, whatever. Uh, but you can say, oh, I want to meet in my... Uh, bar construct or I want to meet my bowling. Uh, okay, gotcha. so let's say let's say that I've met Frenchie several times in like this avatar like noodle shop that I okay. sit, like hang out in. Okay. So it's a virtual noodle shop. It's a virtual noodle Matrix. shop, yeah. Okay. Um and like I'll I'll be sitting along a bar and like he he would know like that's the place to meet. Sure. Okay. So you tell him to meet you there. Yeah. Okay. Um, can we change up our avatars? Is that ever a thing? Yeah. Or is that yeah, okay? absolutely can. Um, I'm gonna change up my avatar to be a, a dude in a suit. I want to okay. be a suit. Okay. The only thing is that you two are the only uh, you two are the only ones that can go into full VR. You can as well I because can. you have a head jack. You can't because you have no. That data jack. Right, so it's just the two of us. So it's just the two of us. Three of you can go actually go if something into goes, VR. If the rest of you can, but you have to go somewhere to like put, put like an old school right. VR helmet, which actually puts you in to SimSense. I want to propose yeah. something that could overcomplicate this, but since I definitely am not the boss, please feel free to override me. We got a team that can infiltrate and uh, uh, that can interface with him via the Matrix. Does that then buy? two of us that won't necessarily be joining the matrix an opportunity to go and actually get the person himself the meat when sack. he's busy get that meat sack and bring him back here with me when he's preoccupied with us in the matrix and then we can have a real conversation with him face to face somewhere that he has never been to before and didn't even know how the fuck he got here i like that i like it but it's, it's dangerous just devil's advocate i feel like someone like him would have someone protecting his meat sack like doesn't sound like a guy who just leaves his sack wow. running around. Yeah, I said it. Um, or, conversely, he's arrogant enough to not have anything at all. Listen, we all know the risks. Assess the situation accordingly, and if it's a bust, then get your ass back here. Yeah. We got two ways to get to him, at least. I like it. I'll stand up from the corner I've been sitting in and crack all the back muscles. Shake out my knee. Anyone got any aspirin in this thing? I hand over the, yeah. the painkiller that I've got. Anybody who has a med kit would have painkillers. I chew them. Yeah. Uh, I saw earlier the drink that Outlaw gave him, and I know where to find it. So I'm going to go fix him up with a little bit of that. Since you liked that earlier. I Here appreciate it, so Hand it to you. I'm not good with my words, but uh, you all held yourselves well. I'm glad it was you all in the shit. 
and I'll walk outside. Okay. All and right. uh, so while we are, while we're in there, just to cover our tracks, I'll summon my friend to cover our tracks because he's able to do so. You look a little. Woo, 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 he's a cleaner. Friend. As a he's oh. got yeah, not nice. the not the sprite thing. He's oh, yeah. a sprite. Oh yeah. All right. So just so that just in case we're being followed. Yeah. Very you know, cool. and I'll, you know, he'll help yeah. us cover our tracks. So if there's anybody else looking for us there, they won't find us. Hell yeah. Sounds good. Uh, can, while one team is in the matrix and the other is not doing these sort of parallel things, are we still able to have our comms active and communicate to yep. each other? Yeah. Okay. Matrix is just basically this telephone yeah. network, basically. Yeah. Great. Okay. So we, we can, can, still we can talk, talk outside yeah. of the matrix when yep. we're in the matrix. Uh, also, um, because I have a chameleon suit, Jeez. it's and I'm able to it scans the surroundings and replicates an image to scale. Would I be able to put that into as I'm scanning my surroundings? Would, would I be able to put that in through comms so that people who are not in the matrix are able to see where we are and what we're doing, so that they know if shit hits the fan, get the meat sack. Uh, um. I yeah, so I, I'm gonna say that you, given your, <laughs> I would say the typical way that you would do that is you would transmit to some sort of display outside of the matrix. Yes. Because of your ability, That's you can like it. reach out and you can project yeah. to like uh, to like a screen that is in the shop, for example, or in the car, okay. there would be like a display and she can actually, you can take a monitor or something and she's able to project the signal so you can watch what they're seeing in the Like in real, oh. in real time, oh, as we're, yeah. So like when a, we like hop in the car, so you that guys... center console will be displaying what you're doing. Yeah. Right. So you wouldn't come with us to the matrix. I'm gonna I'm gonna interface in and out. I'm gonna see if I could, as needed, jump into the matrix from my jack in the car, but also help them get where they need to go yeah. quickly and get out quickly. Yeah. Yeah. And you don't have to jack in because you have uh, a headwear and data jack. You can actually uh, remotely connect to things. access the matrix. Yeah. Ac access the matrix. Okay. Great. So you can hardline if you need to, and that adds bonuses. But you don't have to. Anybody who has internal data jack can act, or or yeah, or a, a, a augmented internal comm link mm -hmm. can enter the enter the matrix via VR through some. Sets. Is that true also with my vehicles? And so I can stay here physically in the safe house and jump into my vehicle and take them there and back. Or does my body need to be in the truck? Your yet? consciousness can only be in one place at a time. So it's either in the car or in the matrix. Well, that's Great. all right, son. But my meat sack doesn't have to be in the trunk of the car to do that. No. Great. It does I'm get it stay. does get harder and harder because you'll remember your checks will go from near to far to extreme far. Yeah. The noise noise level. The noise would be that. Yeah. Okay. Your noise would go up like that. Through the I'm roof. Getting in the trunk, baby. Yeah. Uh, uh, Blaze, you do a bunch of cool shit that we're not able to do. What do you want to? Well, it sounds like we're heading out. I saw what you did out there. I, I'd appreciate it to have some. Uh, like thing. you as long as you that. guys unless we as long as we as long as you guys trust outlaw I don't, I don't know him but if you guys trust him and this his safe house is good i think we can hold around this safe house is good and the only people that we can trust right now are the people that are in this room hey was lord help skelly if i get a hold of him likewise so okay. sue me all right Ready? so that's the plan Yep. yep. Okay. Where are you going to be in safe space while you go into the matrix? You're just going to stay in, in outlaw the spot. In the in safe, safe house. house. Yeah. Okay. Where about in the safe house? So right now in the safe house, we're like in just like a general. Yeah. There's like, there's like a little lounge area with like a couple beat up couches with a coffee table. So that's like a publicy area oh, of the safe house. If someone else. It's one big room. It's, it's just, just like a garage room. with okay, a, okay. with a hidden wall. I mean, I guess um, I'll stay near the m mattress for comfort. Okay. You're gonna lie back, lie down on the mattress. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I'm mean, sure. Or yeah. Maybe not. Like 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 just sitting prop up against the wall. Against prop the wall. Up. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. I think just yeah, seated comfortably on the couch. Okay. Sure. All right. You getting into the car, into the trunk, my little compartment, and waiting for these two to jump in. So we're gonna so head towards where you told us. And then the you're gonna join us. the matrix later if you need to. If I need to. If you need to. Okay. So our palms are all up, so for sure. 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 Okay. All right. Okay. So um at this point it is your construct that you've created in the matrix. So you yes. would be leading it would be in within your host. Yeah. And so you'll be jumping in with her and you can actually, she doesn't actually have hardware uh, to do right. that. So you can just virtually, typically a data jack actually has like a, a cord that you can actually like plug in and like uh, network together right. and do stuff. But you can't do that, but you can do that virtually. Yeah. Uh, okay. It's just not as hard a connection. Yeah. Um, okay. 
Um, so go ahead. Usually in the Matrix, I appear as like an just like an anime version of myself. But I think since we are undercover, uh, I will probably appear as this like very frail elderly woman. Yeah. Amazing. That's yeah. great. And is this a, is this a public host where other people can come as well? Or is this just a are there any? Um, well, let's get to that. OK, you go into your uh, sense. What does your um, lobby basically within the Matrix in your host look like? Much like hers looks like Tron. What does your lobby look like? Mine looks like a very 70s <laughs> uh, like very like pl palatial house that would like from the 70s though like so 70s fireplace shag carpet shag carpet yeah. like yeah. Wow. a bar yeah yeah i love it yeah. and as you kind of get in it's like a living room sort of area it's got multiple doors out of it yeah. and typically what you do is is you would you see the matrix different so even though it appears that way to you so you obviously get it you honestly you get in and it's like this really impressive palatial sort of uh lounge area and you see what you see as almost real. It's like almost like you can touch things. Yeah. Um, there are little pop-ups and little like avatars and little notifications for different things within the matrix at this point. You see code. It's almost like, again, basically like you see past the construct and are able to manipulate it. Yeah. And the way you typically do that is you, you're like, I want to go to this noodle store. You can either get out and walk along the street or you can open the door and it's the door to the noodle shop and you step into the noodle shop and you close the door behind you. And so you're constructing and you're traveling. You can travel as quick or as long. We're going to go through the kitchen refrigerator that's going to open right into the noodle shop. Okay, I love it. And so, as, yeah. as this is happening, I'm just looking around like, this is very different from what I'm used to and I've never been inside a Technoman says. Mm -hmm. I mean, the beautiful thing is that you can make it anything you want. Like, it's just co it's just numbers. As she does this, it like changes the colors of the, like for you to build a construct takes time. You sit yeah. down, you program it. She's just changing wall colors with like a swipe of her hand. Right, right, okay, all right, no need to show off. Oh, I should say, uh, I should probably introduce you to my friend. Um, and so now that once that we're in the matrix, I summon my Sprite, my Technomancer Sprite. Um, his name is Glorp. He's a, a tiny, uh, he's a small, small creature. He is like, looks like a very dingy, hasn't showered in like probably a couple of weeks. Uh, beer belly, like plumber's crack showing. Got it, says like a greasy, sparse comb over, smoking a cigar, but has very dainty, like fairy wings. Uh, uh -huh. And he's just kind of like hovering in the matrix there. He's like, what do you want? I'm not on the clock yet. <laughs> Uh, actually, I am on the clock. Uh, you are on the clock because I just summoned you, and so therefore you are technically on the clock whenever I summon. You. So your <laughs> your shift starts now. I'm immediately going through my last twenty four hours and wondering if I took something or drank something. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> Glorp trigger trigger Glorp. How you doing? <laughs> right. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Um, so Glorp, I basically, you got an easy job tonight. Uh, all you have to do is just, uh, erase that we were ever here. Um, so that God, the gods or God doesn't see in case anybody is following us, mm -hmm. you know, nobody knows that we're here and he goes, I don't see nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> all right. Uh, all right. And then you, you walk over to the door that is typically leads to this host kitchen and you literally just do one of these things. Um, and I would even say that door changes to the outside door. So the color of the door changes. It is now like a glass, basically slide, uh, you know, a uh, uh, swinging door and you see a noodle shop beyond. And, you know, there's like mist that is kind of like because of the steam in the place is kind of like fogging it up. And as you right. open it up, you get this waft of ramen that hits you um and it's kind of this warm sort of like soothing feeling that comes over you amazing right grandma should i uh, take your arm or you want me to hang, oh, oh hang shit. yeah that's right i, I for, like <laughs> I, for a second i forget that i'll like in this form and that guy just kind of hunch over all of a sudden a cane appears uh and i and i do take your arm right and i and i am now match are you are you very tall in this I'm scenario like a, yeah i'm like a normal sized human gentleman <laughs> and i'm i'm very Small in stature. Right. I love it. Okay. You step over the threshold into the noodle shop. Um, 
if you could describe what this noodle shop is. Um, it's like you are transported in time to uh, like an old Kurosawa film. It's almost for a second glitches from black and white in back into color, back into black and white, back into color. Awesome. Um, and it almost goes from like modern, like Blade Runnery, over to like back to Kurosawa, back and forth until it like kind of settles somewhere in between. Love that. Wow. Are there virtual people in this in this? shop uh yes there are a few people seated like hunched over sipping noodles and i said oh don't worry and i like basically just put my hand through all of them like all of them from their uh from behind just like as though i was like cutting butter with a blade and they're as, just here yeah. for ambiance as you do that from the back of the room you see an individual kind of pop up and kind of like wave as he knows that you he was expecting you he's hoping that this was oh. you um and right now i'd like to introduce joel oj hey. of course oh. Oh. who is a uh, co-founder uh, and owner of rumsmith and also a member on our into the mist stream uh what for christmas drod welcome yeah. and he will Thank be playing you. frenchy uh ah, bonjour, frenchy. Ah. <laughs> Let me know. Oh, hey, have your boy. face melted off Yes. <laughs> yes, ready. Always ready. Right. All right. Okay. As you see him in the back corner, what do you do? Uh, I go and just no, they just make a beeline, sit down, get real serious. Well, thanks for not bailing on this. Well, I mean, you know, <laughs> it's, it's good to make some money. <laughs> and I, I'm here for friends because friends have money. <laughs> Are we friends, Frenchie? I mean, dude, I, I would, I would hope that after all the dealings we've had together, you know, like whenever you're in a pickle jar, you know, that means it's just, it's a, a pickle jar. Just so you know, it's it's a metaphor for like really hot water, little bit of spice, little bit of dill, and that's hot in there. So that's you know, I come around when my friends are in trouble. <laughs> I, I don't I don't hate trouble. How did you know we were in trouble though? Oh, that's easy. <laughs> everyone else has totally told everyone else that you guys are the next communicator. <laughs> so so it's like it's not it's not like not news that some of the greatest currently are on the market. You know? That's to me that's just an opportunity to, to make things happen. Uh, financially speaking. Is there a sus check we could do? Like, yeah, can I just, can I just, can I just, can I just, I will, I, that's exactly right. I want to yeah. do a perception check yeah. or something on I, this I would dude. say perception check for sure. Excellent. Okay. Which is willpower plus logic. Yeah, I would say, uh, yeah. If if you want to um, help each other, you can do that. Okay. Or you can do it individually. Yeah, let's do it individually. Well, okay, great. So. By the way, he's wearing a full, yeah, so what did they see? Oh, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Yeah. A full uh, Roman That's Catholic it. nun's habit. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And and yet hasn't changed any of his facial features. I love everything about him. So is it, is, so is it like an attempt to hide or is it just blatant that he's just doing it? <laughs> he's just ridiculous. So is it his real face? His, he's wearing his actual face. <laughs> Fuck. But oh he's wearing God. a habit. Uh, and what oh, does this face look like? What is it? What are his Yeah, he, so... he's, you know, Caucasian, male, mid 50s. Human? Human. Looks like he has literally smoked 400 packs of cigarettes this week. <laughs> like just, just leathery skin. Um, that's, that's what he looks like. Facial hair with the habit? Fac facial hair, like more stubble okay. than than proper beard. Right. Um, really thin, slim looking, um, and is wearing this ridiculous habit. Okay. Uh, I got five successes. On I got five successes as well. Wow. All right. Um, you get the sense that he's telling the truth, actually. Uh, you get the sense that he is an opportun uh, opportunist and that he saw you were in trouble and he heard that and he trusts you and you are a client mm. and he keeps an eye on his clients. Well, Frenchie, I think we could probably help each other out. That's good news to me. 
I want to know if you could help us find who set us up to this. Hmm. That's gonna be quite expensive. Um. Sheesh. Uh, I mean, I have some leads. It's not something I can do in at the moment's notice, like just drop of a hat. Okay. Well, what do you know about wh wh who is uh who is oh, Big getting... Bucket's rival? Bull. Oh. Bull. Yeah. So you would have heard of them. Mm. Um, none of them are your client. Yep. You're kind of at the lower level, client level. You're trying to kind of work yourself up the mm -hmm. ladder. Um, you, as I mentioned before, kind of uh, specialized in gear and sourcing gear. Sometimes you're a fixer, and so sometimes you deal in information, but typically mostly in goods. Um, and uh, sometimes you have jobs, but like, again, you get your clients to do jobs for you at times. And maybe one day you'd like to be a Mr. Johnson or a fixer, but for right now, you're, you're a fixer who focuses on gear. You're a guy who gets things. Well, listen, I, I can't, uh, I probably can't, you know, if I'm honest, and I'm, I tend to be honest with my, uh, my clients, I probably won't be able to get you the information that you need, but I can get you whatever else you might need for the pickle jar you find yourselves currently boiling in. Is there anything you can do to help us, uh, you know, disguise ourselves or cover our tracks in the real world? Mm, that is the right question. Yes, there's always something I can get you. Again, takes a little bit of time, but we've got plenty of time. Your lives are still here <laughs> and you're all breathing. And that's, by the way, the word we use for when air comes in and out, not oh, you know, breathing. Doing... Yes, got that's... it, got it. Everyone gets it wrong. But all right, that's um... what I meant. Um, <laughs> so, uh, I yeah, gear list. Yeah. So, oh. for, from from your perspective, um, you one sec. Let me just take a look here at something. Huh? Um, you, uh, as far as gear goes, things that usually typically are um, for disguise are usually some sort of biotech or cybernetic. Uh, you deal more in weapons and vehicles and things like that. Yeah. Um, when that happens though, you remember that one of your contacts is uh, Daktari, who is a dwarf, who is a street doc. And he does uh, like physical augmentations and all those sorts of things. And so can maybe do that. There is some image inducers and things like that, but they tend to be a little glitchy and not so great, but it's possible. There are like high-tech disguise kits and things like that, but again, it, he said it'll take a little time to So he, you're pretty much, he's pretty much weapons and armor. That's, weapons, that's armor, that's vehicles. Weapons and armor. What about, do you think there's, is there any other way do you think we can retrieve information that you weren't able to retrieve? That's a good question. Uh, I downloaded as much as I could from a particular system mm. i don't know if there's anything that you have that could enhance my ability to to see more well let me check the list okay <laughs> as they do that let's go back to the rest of the, the the team um as well actually i just remembered that you all spent karma to upgrade your characters oh yes, yes we, we, did. Did. Uh, yes, we did. and what i like to do in our shows anybody who's watched into the mist will know that i like to do narrative level ups or upgrades and so i like to weave it into the narrative and make it story based and give it a reason so you don't just wake up in the morning and you you're better um and so if you could all just tell me what it was that you that you did and then we will work it into the narrative throughout the session so what was it again that you proved i took a new skill yeah uh, stealth rio took stealth Got it. Okay. I upgraded my cyber deck to two. Okay. It was at one. Yeah. My control rig is up from one to two. Okay. I took a new skill, escape artist, so I can contort, get out of things, kind of like uh, make a speedy exit. Nice. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I changed, <clears throat> modified my firebolt spell um, to be set uh, to catch people ablaze, basically use plasma on them instead of just flame. Yep. Turn based damage. Awesome. So I'm going to say with all of these, um, 
at this point, Rio, um, training that you've done up to this point was a lot of brute force, right? You get in there, you make it happen. Um, but you're realizing that in your older age, that maybe some finesse would help. And being a bit more quiet, you're, you're incredibly agile, you're able to leap uh, far distances and all of that. But you've been focusing on the art of stealth a lot more. And I'm gonna say that just in this past combat, you understood the importance of it. And some of that training that you've been doing recently finally clicked. It was like in your mind, you were like, ah, I get it. And, and you're starting to use some of those tactics. And we'll yeah. say that you have the abilities and what comes with stealth. As far as Cyberdex goes, this is the man to help you with the Cyberdex. Right. So I would say during this interaction, that happens. That happens. And that you're able to upgrade your Cyberdex from a Model 1 to a Model 2, right. which gives you additional protection when you're hacking um, in the Matrix. All right. Um, sorry, Frain, uh, you uh, updated your control rig? Yep. Same thing. So I would say that he can update, he can give you a firmware chip mm -hmm. for that. You guys have spent karma, so there doesn't have to be money that changes hands. That is the the thing, but you guys can have a conversation regarding that if you want, or we can just say it happened, but that is something that you did. And you're just like, you know what? Obviously you're using your vehicle a lot. It mm -hmm. was incredibly important. Your whole purpose, as you mentioned, is to be more machine yep. and, 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 and dedicate yourself to as much as you can. Uh, and this is just a step in that direction. Sounds good. Uh, live, um, same thing. Uh, this is just building on your ability to get in and out of situations. Um, you've been a cat burglar. That's some, some, in some ways how you've made your money before you became a shadow runner and being an escape artist after being surrounded by all those cops is something that you've kind of started to train and you're like, I need this in case we get caught. And it's, it's can't come perfectly for you. Blaze, there was a lot of fire in this last combat. And you started to be able to manipulate mana in a more powerful way, even surprising yourself. It's like this combat unleashed something inside you mm. that allows you to access a deeper understanding of how to manipulate fire, which is why now you have a more powerful fireball. Cool. So that is, you know, a little bit of, a, of an explanation. Sometimes you have to get a brand new piece of gear and that is a bit more involved, but that is, is how, and then we can just enjoy the benefits of those as we move forward. Um, we're going to say that at this point, you've asked for the cyber deck. He's given you firmware. You've asked for firmware for your control rig. You've, he's upgraded your control rig. You guys can take it from there. Uh, so for, for us, we've been patched in this entire time. So yeah, sorry. Of this conversation. Yeah, yeah, okay. So we'll go to the other two. So you guys, you guys are in the vehicle. Um, oh, sorry. You're not there. So yeah. you're not able to upgrade that. That, that was, yeah. Yeah. But I have, how about this? Because I think... Everything that I can do, how I continue to grow is greatly influenced by how everything Outlaw has taught me. And he's mm. taught me how to pay attention to other people that are around me to see if I can learn anything from him. Yeah. Knowing that he wasn't always going to be the only person to teach me. And being able to jump into the matrix in a sense, while I'm jumping into that drone side yeah. by side trigger, yeah. hacking into that other drone, yeah. made something click for me. Sure. And through that kind of knowledge that I saw from experiencing, I learned what tweaks I can make to the control rig to, love it. to enhance it yeah. just a little bit more. Yeah, I love it. I'll, I'll yeah. say that the time that you spent there allowed you to do a bit of tweaking to that and you managed to upgrade it. That's a great idea. Um, so for us, while we're driving over there, I'm gonna you're gonna hear a voice in your head as we're patched in. Hey, is everything good with him? Are we suspicious? Are we, or how's it going for you? It's fine. This guy doesn't know anything. You know, hmm. he seems innocuous. Might be able to get us some armor, some some more firepower, but that's it. Well, right now we're we're physically heading to where he is. We'll continue to be careful. Our eyes are open. Um, but if there's any physical things that he can give us, then we will be there just in time for him to hand it off to us. Ah, oh, well, that makes sense. At which point you actually pull up to the boutique in downtown Seattle. And it's just like a very posh, sort of like uh, Parisian sort of storefront mm -hmm. uh, that looks like um, a high-end like fashion store, but there's like guns in the window and like, you know, like, yeah. Do I have any surveillance? In my absolutely. Shop. You absolutely do. At this point, though, you have left your meat sack behind mm -hmm. um, and you have locked, you have a, a variety of safe um, 
yeah, you have a variety of, of cool. safety features. Um, you guys, uh, is there anything that you are wanting, you know, wanting to get from him? We could ask yes. him. There is. I want smoke grenades. Smoke grenades. Yes. If he has smoke grenades, I want them. Right. If he has anything that can help our, my vehicle cloak, I want that too. Right. Uh, we should probably stock up on some like flashbang, like flash yeah, grenades. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Love you know. that. Ladies, is this thing working? Can it you is, hear me? It, it is. We've got you. Maybe we should uh, canary in a coal mine this situation here. As you mean? Trigger the alarm. Give him our information. Tell him we'll meet him at his place in a certain amount of time and see who shows up. Trigger his alarm. All right. We're already here. He doesn't position. know we're here. We get in right. position, we hide, we watch out. Anybody shows up. I'll be our eyes in the sky. Give her, us a heads up if someone's already heading towards us. So sounds good. Liv, you want to set a meet at his place? Just tell him we'll meet him at, to pick up our stuff. Yeah, yeah. see if he's a, right, yeah. a leaky faucet. So I guess if you're going to help us out with some gear, we can just head right on over to go pick it up. Yep, I, uh, if you want to meet at the place, you know where uh, you know where to find me. I'm always there. You know it. Hmm. Right, then uh, enjoy your noodles. Yeah. Thanks. They're so yummy. <laughs> Question. Yes. <laughs> if he pops up in now the physical realm and we're there, their bodies are back at the safe house, but if they stay in the Matrix, would they still be able to potentially pick up signatures of other, like, cyberware or people if they're coming to us? Can they be a different set of eyes for us in the plane of the Matrix? Yes. To an so extent. we would stay there. Yeah. yeah. Right. Except you would get any data um, regarding potentially. You, you'd be able to hack data and security systems from inside right. the Matrix. Right. You know, if anyone's trying to hack in our direction. So we'll yeah. just pretend or like we're leaving that. and we'll let this guy pop off. Yeah, so as we're we're leaving, we're getting up, uh, we're walking past all the NPCs, but there is uh, one with some wings that I kind of flick on the way out <laughs> <laughs> as we uh, as we walk out or make our way right. because he will be trailing right. us not far behind. Likewise, right. ladies, uh, is it working? Can you hear me? Yep, we yeah. got... Uh, the next call he makes might be a very important one. That's a good point. Can I... Um... What do I have to spy on Duder? Can I, is there any way within the matrix to spy to, on him? To yeah. spy on yeah. him. So proximity matters. So uh, in the sense of when you when you get in the matrix, you're actually in the area that we are. So if I were to jump into this room, I would feel the lights, I would feel my machine or whatever. Right, right, right. Then you have to travel or there's noise. And so there's, the range still matters in the matrix, but you can get there quickly. You can be like, okay, I want to go to this there. place. And Maybe. then open a door yeah. and you go in and then you can be in the in the virtual area of his shop as if you were shopping online. And then you're I want to trail him. Yeah. Well, we can have Glorp do that if you. If you can, you can bring up a directory of shops and do a search and find the boutique and uh, Frenchie's boutique and you can click on it and go there and then be in close proximity to his business. Yeah. And if you do so, and you get to my shop in the virtual space, you'll see that every single price tag digitally is actually marked down by about 70%. But you'll also notice that every markup, everything is exceedingly expensive, just marked down 70%. <laughs> uh <-huh. Yeah. laughs> yes, delightful. Yeah, mm -hmm. love that. And, and typically when you, when you go to a shop, it appears like a like a shop and they've decided what that host looks like and so when they appear at your storefront what does that look like in the matrix yeah i mean you you see just an abundance of all of the have you ever been to a military supply yeah. kind of shop in, stuff, yeah. like a surplus yeah. store yeah, surplus. right this stuff that you know kind yeah. of is the throw-offs from anything they have in the real military uh he has all that stuff at the front of the store right Okay. You'll you'll see the walls, little little uh, booths and little uh, shelves with all of the surplus stuff at the front. He sells through a bunch of that. All of the weapons, all of the gear, they're all behind these dirty glass windows lining the back of the shop, down the back sides of the shop. So uh, as I'm walking to get up to the shop and stuff like that on the corner as we split, split directions and still visible to each other, obviously, uh, I go ahead and activate uh, my astral senses and peer into the astral realm. That's going to appear as uh, 
as light coming out of my eyes uh, as that is peering um, around. That's why he wears shades a lot because then it hides that fact that he's without fully diving in that he's peeking behind that that veil of the, the veil astral. Of the astral. And then when we're in the Matrix and they're in the physical speaking physically to Joel, are we just able to hear what's going on because we're in comms, or we just don't? We're not there. You're not there. Okay, yeah, just yeah. just so I know not no. to jump in when I'm but not there. But he's still with us. He's right still now. with you. Yeah, he's right now he's us. still in the yeah in the matrix. As you jump into the astral plane um, and start to see kind of through the veil, you're not jumping in, but you'll be able to see through the veil to the astral plane. What you notice is that it's a mirror image of the world that you're in, just slightly more drab. It's slightly more grayscale um, and like an alternate version of the current reality. You also see spirits, astral creatures who are roaming the streets, um, those that have gone, uh, those that are lingering. Um, and you even notice that when you come into this space, that some of them turn and are aware of you. Um, and they start to pass and some of them nod. One of them even, you know, lowers the brim of their hat as they continue to walk. Mm. And from all varieties of time frames. And so you see people maybe from the 50s, from the 60s, all in different types of clothing and all in different types, uh, diff from different, um, Time, time zones, not time zones. Eras. 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 Thank you. That's what I was looking for. And time zones within those eras. Exactly. Yes. <laughs> the one thing that you do notice, uh, sorry, that is all you notice from a basic, on a basic, like on the street. cursory level. Uh, if you want to look a little bit further and kind of detect anything weird, if you can give me a sorcery plus uh, logic role for your kind of like astral perception. That would be great, unless you have an ability or a shadow app that allow you to do anything different. Uh, no, just astral combat is my only kind of astral yeah. skill on that one. Uh, three hits. Okay. Uh, with three hits, the one thing you do notice is that there is a buzz nearby emanating from the building from Frenchie's Boutique. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that um, that uh, typically it is in regards to uh, some sort of uh, astral sensor. So something that is intended to detect astral beings or astral uh, the use of astral or uh, mana manipulation. Okay. What do you do? Uh, so I'm, I'm only sensing the, the sensors inside the building. Yeah, that's the right. only thing in the area. So nothing, other than nothing, the spirits who are roaming. But they're not going in and out of his shop. There's nothing like posted in front of his door or anything. No. Cool. So I'll, I'll do that. I kind of turn on my comedy. Actually, oh, sorry. What you do notice is there is absolutely, as you look to your right, you see almost like an astral silhouette surrounding Rio. <gasps> there is an energy that exists uh, that is a little different than yours. Mm -hmm. um, and as you look at yourself, your 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 essence, I imagine, on the astral plane kind of smolders mm -hmm. <laughs> slightly, like uh, yeah. like like living, almost like almost about fire. to catch on fire, but not exactly fire. right, like just boiling up under the surface. Yeah. Um, you said it was a red energy that you emanated, right? What would what would your kind of astral essence look like? Well, I don't think it's me. I don't, or 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 I should say, Rio does not have a, an understanding of this astral energy in the same way that you would. Mm -hmm. And so, I don't think that it's representative of me. I think it is representative of my ancestor, uh, who guides me Oof. on this path. And so you actually see an astral being with its hands on his shoulders. So like a almost like to me, uh, for for being a mage and peering into this constantly, kind of similar to like a, a spirit of man or a spirit, a, a spirit of beast? some sort of hu uh, yes. humanoid spirit. You see a man with dark skin, dark complexion, or a spirit that would have a similar complexion to my own, um, but his hair he, he's he's wearing a tribal uh, war chief headdress. Mm. Uh, you know, an astral one with plumes. Um, and in his hand, he has a war club. And in his other hand, a bow. And you can tell, you would be able to discern that this is a man way out of time. This spirit is way out of time. I mean, we're not talking 100 years. We're talking five, 600 years ago. Yeah. This entity would have existed. Way, way beyond the, what, yeah. obviously everything else walking the street doesn't even pale in comparison. And there is a uh, resemblance you, you're not there's a i guess a familial resemblance uh there love it love it that's what you see perfect 
So I kind of pause on him real quick. Right before I go, I see him out of the corner of my eye and I kind of pause on that real quick. And I go ahead and turn back and I go click. Hey, his sword's got nothing kind of on it. Just some astral sensors that would pick me up if I walked inside. And I think you feel on your, you, you feel on your shoulder, my hand as you go to move and I turn you around. I, Are you okay, son? And as you see that, the, the, the light behind the astral turns off, the light that's around my face dims out and the glasses go back. They actually turn back from uh, a dark shade that you see them and actually flickers back on a couple shades brighter so I can actually look him and he can see my eyes now. Um, it's like, yeah, I'm, I'm just fine. I was, looking, I was just looking at the shop. Okay. All right. Looks clear. And I, and I really relay that it does look clear. Yeah. And I, I click my earlobe. Is this thing working? We've got you. Okay. Yeah. Are we clear to knock on the door? It's good enough for me. I think yeah. we're fine. You put the so order too. in. Let's go. All right, let's go shopping. Okay. As you do that, you you all within the matrix see Frenchie kind of go like this and listen, knowing that there's somebody at your shop that you have to attend to. Uh, uh, sorry, I'll be right back. Uh, and and all of a sudden he clicks out, fizzes out of the of the matrix. And he comes to the door and he opens the door for you. You know who we are. Uh, I was expecting you. Yes, thanks for coming. Right. Can we come in? Y yeah, of course. That's a, it's a job. Uh, buy as much as you can. Yeah, two things. One, I need cigars. Real ones, not this fake shit. Okay, I, I think I can do that. Let me go get them in the back. Great. Two, you don't treat friends the way you treat Liv. Sorry? You don't treat friends the way you treat Liv. They ain't money-making opportunities. Um, okay, I'm, I'm sorry. That's it, just, it's kind of what I do. I'm, I'll, I'll, uh, can I, uh, and he's totally caught off guard. Uh, yeah, the, sorry, uh, Liv, um, you know, uh, let me go talk to her even. I'll, I'll, I'll apologize right away. I, I'll, I'll apologize. No need. You just take care of her. There are keyboard warriors in this world. There are a few real ones left. You're looking at one. I'm not paying for these fucking cigars out of it. <laughs> Scared out of his mind. <laughs> he, uh, he goes back to the Matrix mode with his chair and uh connects um so just had a visitor live uh and, you good? <laughs> and i just want to say thanks for sending the squad party or whatever they are in the front um yeah uh i got all the gear you need next time i'm sorry was there a problem with my squad party no 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 mm -hmm. no they're great uh, uh, but maybe Next time, maybe a little bit of warning, you know? We've been doing this for a while together. Did we not say we were going to go pick up stuff that we were ordering? Yeah, I just did not expect for the pickup to be free cigars. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I don't know what deal you guys made. That's none of my business, but uh, we did We did tell you. We were on our way. That's uh, that's fair, I guess. Well, well, just, just you know. We good, though? Oh, we good? oh, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. No, of course. Come back anytime. Okay. Seriously. No. Click, click, click. Is this thing on? Yeah, we've got you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Liv, what? you trust this guy? <laughs> yeah, what'd you say to him? Don't worry about it. I think he can help us. Yeah, I, I, I definitely don't think he... Uh... I'm saying this right in front of your face, by the way. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't I don't think he, uh, he was the double crosser. I think... Uh... You know, he what, seems pretty clear to me. Too. He seems he seems on um, he seems clear. Yeah, I think we could use him to get to Skelly. I think you're right. Mm. Well, I think this would be a uh, nice time to test his loyalty. I agree. As I look like right at you, as I say. <laughs> yeah, and I'm like, uh, uh, that's my loyalty. Yeah. I, I, I'm picking up what you're putting down. So he is someone who's not tainted like we are, but he can send messages or do things, reach out to people on the outside. I think that's a benefit. If I'm picking up what you're putting down, then I need to go back and pick up some of the meat sacks that we left behind so that we're all in the same place. So you're literally going to go pick up what we put down. I am literally <laughs> going to pick up what. Cool, 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 cool. So cool. I'm going to take Amazing. the drone, yep. go to the vehicle, yep. 
jump into the vehicle. Yeah. Jump out of the drone, jump into the vehicle, and go back and pick them up. Okay. Cool. All right. That's do we, do we grab the stuff then? Yeah. So while you do that, what do you guys want to pick up? We'll just take um, care of the shopping real quick. I'd like to pick up some um, updates to my, like some better armor of some kind, like okay. something that will cut, because I'm squishy okay. as I will crack. search it for and, you. And um, is it possible to get something akin to smoke bombs and breathing apparatus that are not oh, too bulky. Yeah, yeah. Gas yeah. masks? Oh, yeah. Like Some gas of you have masks? gas masks. Mm. I will find a gas masks for the rest okay. of you. I don't cool. know if I have one. Uh, I might have one already. One. Oh, I already have one. Never mind. I already have one. You need it? I knew that. I really don't know. I think we all, do we all have <laughs> gas masks? <laughs> Smoke grenades so. are 50 yen each. Okay, I'll take... Stun grenades are 100 and, uh, and uh, frag grenades are 150 new yen. Yeah. I got 10 smoke grenades right. that I'm attaching to my vehicle and my drone. Okay. Ooh, you could shoot them out like a Batmobile. You better believe I'm gonna it. I'm going to take <laughs> five of each. I'll take two frag and two flash. Hope not a lot I can get to you. I probably got to get to my magic dealer. Hmm. I like getting up close and some And armor wise. Oh, yeah. I guess we can buy new armor, can't we? We're kind of all banged up on our last ones, aren't we? Um, yeah. yeah, you can get it repaired. All I've got is a coat. How much would it take to repair armor? Uh, so you can spend points to do it. Uh, oh, right. Plot points if you want, or you can pay somebody to do it. Let's say he's right there. Oh, Yeah, he's right there. But but for... you would have to leave your armor with him, and he would oh. have to... We can go see my guy. Yeah, you got some. He's pretty on. good with that kind of stuff. Uh, is there a device, like maybe a bracelet or something that you wear on your watch that you could activate and it forms like a shield? To like oh. take some incoming damage, like some sort of kinetic barrier. Like, sorry, say it one more time. So something like a, a some device or a, a, a bracelet or a watch, you press a button if as like, like a, a force field, yeah. like a kinetic barrier. Yeah, let's take to a look. Soak up some damage. Yeah. Okay. So uh, while we're doing this, uh, we're gonna take a quick break, and we'll be right back after our little shopping experience. Woo! We'll come back. Hi everyone, welcome back. Thank you again for watching the show. And we're here with Realmsmith featuring Shadowrun Excommunication. And I'm really excited to talk to you guys today because I'm Rem Alternus. I'm the community and marketing director for Catalyst Game Labs. And part of my job is to explain to you fine folks, what is a shadow run? So to talk through it, we're gonna take it into some chunks here. So first of all, Shadowrun is a cyberpunk fantasy tabletop role-playing game. So think Blade Runner meets The Matrix meets Lord of the Rings. You've got the fantasy el element, you've got the cyberpunk element, uh, you've got all the good stuff mixed in together. It's a very dark world. The cyberpunk piece of it, we are 60 years in the future at this point, and we are dealing with a whole lot of issues we know nothing about in the 2020s, such as mega corporations with too much power and, and sway in the world uh, that are making decisions that hurt the general population. The world is dying and people are treated poorly. Uh, Shadow runners are survivors that are outcasts of society that are forced to perform criminal jobs in order to feed themselves. So they're survivors running the shadows and providing some of these mega corporations with deniable assets to get the jobs done that they want off the books. Meanwhile, we've got the magic element in, in it. So we've got our elves, our orcs, our trolls, we've got fey, we've got pixies, we've got sasquatch, we've got all kinds of meta types, as they're called in Shadowrun. And basically we have a timeline that has happened where magic gets re-released or reawakened in the world. And uh, what happens that is that children start being born with pointed ears, tusks, whatever it might be. And there's also an event called goblinization where people born as normal humans hit puberty and all of a sudden they go through horrifically painful uh, bodily transformations where they start getting dermal plating on their skin, their bones uh, stretch and, and grow and get more dense and they become trolls or, or whatever their metatype is. At the same time, magic is also getting released into the world and people are, are are found occasionally that they have special powers. So you have mages in the world, you have adepts that can boost their own stats magically uh, and be more charismatic or be uh, faster or be stronger, whatever the case may be. Take the Iron Fist. From there, you have... Uh, 
dragons have reawakened awakened in the world and all kinds of, of mythical creatures are back in, in this world. So you have spirits, you have um, dragons are largely, uh, they can shapeshift and they can become CEOs of corporations. Many of them are, they are incredibly powerful. Rule number one of shadow running is never deal with a dragon. Uh, number two is geek the mage because they're really powerful too. So, you know, keep that in mind. Uh, so as we go through here, I thought I would just share a little bit with you of some of the Shadowrun lore and events. And you can see for your, yourself how uh, similar or dissimilar uh, it's been to our current world. So in 2001, uh, the Shiawase decision in the U.S. Supreme Court gives multinational corporations the same rights and privileges as sovereign governments. So basically mega corporations can enforce policies of their own and and basically help control like governments do uh realizing in 2002 um that they had only been half-heartedly exploiting native americans for the past century or so the u.s government puts their whole heart back into the job and lets corporations run roughshod over the resources found in native american reservations during the so-called resource rush. This leads to unrest and resistance with serious consequences. We'll get there. In 2010, virally induced toxic allergy syndrome, or VTOS, appears in New Delhi, India. Eventually it kills a quarter of the world's population. Hmm, we're only 10 years behind that one. Um, 2011, the awakening, or at least the beginning of it, dragons appear, people develop talents and abilities that can only be described as magic. Babies are born in ways that exactly resemble elves and dwarves of legend, and the world reveals itself to generally be much weirder than anyone ever expected. In 2018, after the great ghost dance of the previous year in which Native American shamans spurred national disasters, such as earthquakes and volcanic eruptions across the globe, the United States and Canada agreed to the Treaty of Denver in which large portions of both nations are given to Aboriginal populations to become the various states that make up the Native American nations of the Western Hemisphere. In 2021, we're almost caught up, a process known as goblinization, which I talked about, some adults spontaneously mutate into creatures that become known as orcs and trolls. A wider range of forms emerge as time passes. People react with fear and loathing, which after more than half a century has generally eased uh, to fear and extreme distaste, though some people prefer to stick with loathing. Dwarves, elves, trolls, orcs, and the like are coll collectively labeled metahumanity though sometimes the label is broadened to include all forms of human-like life, including humans themselves, which irks the troll haters to no end. Uh, and we'll wrap up uh, at 2030. So in 2029, the matrix, the interconnected wonder of the computer world crashes and crashes hard. The virus that caused the crash takes years to eradicate and the whole dynamic sets the stage for cyberware or cyber warfare in years to come. And finally, in 2030, after losing a lot of territory to the Native American nations, the remnants of the United States and Canada merge to, for to form the United Canadian American States, or the UCAS. In subsequent years, the Free State of California, the Ca Confederation of American States, and the Caribbean League claim parts of what used to be the United States. This mirrors political fracturing and realignment occurring around the world. So that is just a little glimpse. Uh, we have dates that go all the way to 2077 in the Shadowrun Anarchy book. Um, all of our core rule books for Anarchy, for Shadowrun 6 World, for 5th edition, wherever you start, has world building and lore. So you can learn who the players are, what the events are, and build your campaign around these events. It is a rich system with tons of history. The game has been around 34 years at this point, so there is no end to the stories that you can experience and tell on your own. So thank you for joining me. Thank you for joining all of us here at Realm Smith and sponsoring uh, the Shadowrun X communications stream. We'll see you next time. Welcome back. All right, we did a little bit of shopping. Um, Y'all picked up some stun grenades. Did stun grenades? Stun yep. grenades. Smoke grenades. Smoke grenades. And you picked up frag, frag grenades frag, as well. Frags to flash. Okay. Yeah. Are you picking up armor? 
we decided uh, against. I think real I, armor. I'm, I'm I'm nervous about being slowed down, so I'm sure. just going to stay with my coat. Okay. Uh-huh. And then we're and then uh, I am uh, when when you're interested some sort of feel a force some sort of like shield. a device that can that yeah. can project a kinetic field. Have a kinetic field. Yeah. To and uh, he'll look into that for you. Great. And so he'll come back to you. We'll take when he, two when he tries for to one. It. Oh, Two. okay. And at this point, all- sorry. At this point, we'll also say you've gotten the meat sacks. You're all yes. back at the shop. Excellent. In meat in meat space, is that okay? You guys can come out of the matrix and be in meat space, or do you want to still be in the matrix? Uh, do we need to still be in the matrix? No. In I think fact, we do. remember that that you sense that there are. Yeah, people... we gotta get out. Of, oh, yeah, we gotta yeah, get yeah. out. Anyway, yeah. although Glorp is like, I would also like some cigars. Yeah. <laughs> um, all right. So yeah. You're, so you're I'm back noticing... in meat space. In the in the shop. Yeah. So because I'm noticing so many people paying attention to us, I think yeah. it's time for us. Yeah. To we should probably split. Okay. All right. All right. Whip around, take them back, and I guess we're all back in the shop then. Yep. Where did uh, you get to? these? Uh, s- excuse me. Sorry. Where did you get these? I I sourced them from lots of places. I can't divulge my sources, as of course uh, this is my work. They're really good. <laughs> You're welcome mm. for taking them for free. Are you giving these out for free? No, yeah, no, yeah, no, yes. no. Wait, wait, wait. I was just saying, yeah. Those ones are on the house. Thank you. Uh, so, uh, Frenchy. Mm-hmm. We've got a little plan for you. Um, make you a little more money. Okay, you've got my attention. <laughs> we have an offer you can't can we can't refuse and when I say you can't I mean you cannot <laughs> well, can What I... she really means is And fire comes out of my hand you really shouldn't can refuse her No, 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 no there's no, 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 no need no, for no, threats no, no, because no. we've established how oh, much yeah. we're how friendly yeah. we are, friendly we are. Oh, I am friendly. A, as far a as like little you. flustered by the yeah. approach yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, Okay, well uh, first how about you put the deal in front of me and I'll tell you if it's profitable enough for me. Someone fucked us. Fucked us hard. Okay. Not in a good way. Um, Not in a good way. In a bad way. <laughs> <laughs> we need to know who. There's you... a price on our heads. A bounty is obviously you've already heard from everyone and uh, we want to find out why. We want to find out who set that up and who set us up. Okay. And the only way to draw them out is with your help. Is with your help if you claim that bounty. Oh, I get it. You want me to be the guy who brings all of you guys in? Calls us in. Yes. And we'll talk you through the next part. Uh, I'm, I'm super curious myself. That would be really fun. Except too expensive for what you're offering. I can tell you already. What you mean? Well, I mean, you don't have enough money walking around with you to be able to pay for my life. There's no way I'm going to do this. Not a chance. To be able to pay for your life is 50000 a head on our heads. How expensive is your fucking life? No, I just mean, uh, I'm assuming that you're not going to let me keep the bounty. We could talk about that, but there might be a step before that. Yeah. Right. There's someone we all know we need to talk to we can't get access to that present moment skelly do you know skelly uh you do, do I know yes skelly? so you you've heard of him you yep. have done some dealings with him yep um he's kind of a low level fixer mm. um who is trying to make it up in the world uh he's known as a bit of a shark a bit of a rat um and uh because you keep such a close eye on Liv and the team, you know how you, you've heard that he's in connect. He's connected in some way to them. Okay. What are um, fixers called in Shadowrun again? They're called Mr. What? Johnson. Mr. Johnson. Mr. Johnson. Johnson. There yeah. you go. Yeah. yeah, yeah. There's actually a difference between you know, like a fixer and Mr. Johnson. Mr. Johnson's like a glorified fixer. They're like gotcha. that top. Yeah. He's oh, a or like a step up. Yeah. yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. He okay. wouldn't be caught red-handed in a room with us. That's where you come in. You need to call and tell him you got a job worth his weight in gold. Or set up a meeting with yeah. him. We get him here so that we can have a proper conversation with him. Well, okay, let's, that, I mean, in theory, it sounds pretty good. But for seriousness, uh, what are, what's my take in the whole thing? You know, what do I get out of it? Uh, well, if you don't go off script, then you keep your life. 5,500 yen. And 5,500. 
That's a lot. From each of you? That's a great deal. From me, uh, me alone. From just you? It's you gotta do two. this because it's the right thing to do because she's your friend, right? Of, co of course. I mean, I was just, I was just kidding. What were we saying? 5,000 yen? No, 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 no. Oh, that sounds great. 5,000 yen sounds fucking fantastic, doesn't it? It sounds better every minute you talk. <laughs> um, sure, fine, fine. 5,000, I'll do the bounty. I'll take half of whatever the prize money is in the end. And then, sure, okay, let's do it. I'll uh, tell you in later. Okay. So okay. yeah, you just uh, contact Torin. Let him know you've got a job for him you need to meet. Specs of secret. Top secret. Can't be diverged over the matrix. Needs to be talked about in person. Old way. In my meet. You want me to go meet with someone in the meat, you in can, the flesh. You, can, you want him to come here. You want him to come yes. here. Oh, sh sh here. Yeah. You want Doran to come here. Yeah. Well, we can't risk you going over there. That's far more dangerous. You're safe with his here. Guy. You're safe here. Yeah, All but surveillance. He's not exactly the kind of clientele I keep in the shop, but I guess. I'm I, sure you can inform him of some product he's probably looking for. You know, I have been looking to improve the shop and maybe he'd consider it. I mean, okay, I'll put out the word and we'll see what happens. Well, we need you, we need to move this fast. Oh, okay. Um, so 5,500 right then? 5,500. Okay. <laughs> Excuse me, you got this. Yes. <laughs> Are you all right? Yeah, he's, he's fine. He's fine. Let's do it. He's not fine. I can tell he's not fine. And I can tell that you're trying to cover something. Just for him. let him be. Don't lie to me, though. If I can tell that he's not fine, you don't need to lie to me about it. You're not fine. And we can all tell. All right, cards on the table, son. I'm dying. I've been dying a long time. I ain't going to die today. We don't need to make a thing of it. Thank you for your honesty. You're welcome. We'll fix it. Thank you for covering for him, or at least trying it. it. Says a lot about you. Um, having noticed this, he pulls the box out and he goes, "Okay, one more cigar." Hands it over. No wonder you're giving your money up so easy. Um, right, so can we speed this along? Can you, can you put can you put us in touch with him? Well, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll not put... us. Can you put yourself in touch with him? We're not involved. Yes, of, uh, of course. That's uh, understood. Yeah, I'll I'll make the call right away. Okay. How do you want to do that? Um. So I'll I'll uh... I'll link to just text him. Do you want to call him? Do you want yeah. to send an email? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll go yeah, super back, old school back. and yeah. email him. Yeah. Messenger what, pigeon. What? Yes, yeah. snail. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. No. So, yeah. so how, do you, uh, uh, you do have his contact information. Yeah. So you can just send him a text or yeah. communicate with him that way, or yeah. you can give him a call. Yeah, I'll send him a, like an SMS message. Okay. <laughs> um, um, it comes back undelivered, like non-deliverable. Oh no. Okay, do I let them know that? It's up to you. Okay. Yeah. I uh I won't. I'll attempt another method first. Okay. You wanna call him? Yeah, I'm gonna call him. Okay. It says this number is no longer in service. Son of a bitch. I'm now fearing for my life. <laughs> yes. Um Okay. Um as you can see I messaged him on my phone and I, or on my on my device. Uh and I'll show them the record that I yeah. did that. Uh, I also tried calling him. He's not. He's not. The phone or the the number. Sorry, on the other end is not uh, connecting. I, I'm. I used to what have his contact. Not, what do you mean not connecting? Well, it's just not going through. It says the number is no longer active. So he's either he's he's either gone or he's on the gone. Road. Yeah. 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 What's that? Is there any other way to track him? If I, I mean, if I would hack in, could I track him? You can absolutely try. I mean... I think we need to. Can your uh, boy, Glog, Grog, whatever the hell his name is, can he Glor. clean up after me, Glor. Glorp? Can he uh, clean up after me if I go in? Sure. I mean... 
for a, for a limited time. Like he can't just hang out and, and cover all of your tracks at all times because you know. But he'll he'll cover. I some just want to go in and see if I can track Skelly. Okay. Um, would this mean that I would have to also be in the Matrix then for Glorp yeah. to go in? Yeah. All right. That means uh, we'll go in and Glorp can can uh, cover your tracks and maybe we can catch what was on his surveillance cameras. Maybe we can see something. We could maybe see if he tried to flee. Maybe somebody was there hey, visiting. that's a great idea. Yeah, These could, cameras. We, we saw that we camera to, in his yeah, office. Yeah. We did. So if we hack, we're able to hack into his cameras, we can see either if he's left, if he was offed or if he left. That's a Let's do that. Or who came to see him when we left. Exactly. Yeah. Well, so I'm going to hack into, yeah. I can hack into his cameras from afar. Okay. Yeah. Right? Yep. Yeah. AR, VR. Uh, <laughs> before we go, like, you... hey, Glor. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm going to have to ask you to, uh, to, uh, Finish up your smoke break because you're you're still on the clock, buddy. What is this? Being, you know what? We're gonna unionize one of these days. You can't just <laughs> keep doing this to us. I'm just not. I'm not here working for you more than 14 hours. I'm like, listen. I just it, what it's been like. What an hour? Not even an hour. Get off your lazy ass and follow her around, and let's just cover her tracks, okay? Yeah, whatever you dumb bro. <laughs> like mumbles oh, wow. under his yeah. breath and. uh we're good to go. All right. I should go in and be all right. Yeah. Yeah. Can you, what you did earlier, you in VR, you open a door and you got to snap the two. Yeah, that's I'll, I'll be there to help get through the doorways. But, you know, when it comes to seeing the cameras and what's on that's there, good. that's, that's good. That's right. triggered. Yeah. Use your, uh, use your track, uh, thing. If you're, if you're tracking, so you can use your track ability. Frayed. You should patch out and see if there's anyone outside, anyone following us from the last... Yeah, I'm going to be eyes outside. Five. Okay. Where are we at currently? Back at the, the warehouse where we have the boutique We're store. At his boutique, boutique, right, his boutique, boutique store. Yeah. Cool. Okay. So uh, currently, using your trackability with a five, you're able to kind of jump in uh, and you start to look for... Uh, and you, you, the, the place to start typically would be to see what... I don't know where that was. Uh, Siri jumped in weird. Uh, <laughs> Andrew's trying to tell you something. Yeah, right. Um, you it would be like to see if he pings off any servers. Uh -huh. And so if any of his, uh, whether it be bank cards or security cameras or anything has, has, has detected him, you get a list. Uh, the club security camera pinged him right around the time that you met him the first time when okay. he briefed you on the, on the, on the job. Street cams leaving the club pinged him. You have a comm link, like location service that tracked him. And then you also have police records um, that surround him, that his names are linked to. To go even further, so this is like user access to go further. So basically you've broken into kind of like the infrastructure like database right. to find out where he's pinged. Not and now to get illegal. admin in, access to any of one of those things, you'll have to track for Roll again. The last can I give ever? her, so actually a question for you. Can yeah. I give her a bonus? Because I technically still have a cred stick that Skelly gave me. Oh. So I got paid in a cred stick. I don't know how much you'd get from a cred stick though. I have no um, idea. Also, yeah. Glorp can caller. hack. Mm. So I could put him to work and help hack sure, into stuff. Sure, so if so. you want to dig deeper, uh, then he can done. he can also try to hack, and then you can add to that. Okay. Right. So You can add three. Okay. Plus, I uh, have one more. You add three before I re-roll two. And then I add three. Jesus. A lot of dice. A lot of dice. Fuck. All right. Oh. It's three. Not great, eh? Not okay. great. Uh, I'm going to say with, with three successes. Um, Is that with mine? Yeah. Oh, shit. Okay. Yeah. Not good. Um, I that find you tag, he was tagged leaving the club with his two personal bodyguards. And you can actually watch the footage. 
Uh, and this is the, the club, well, that's the club footage. You then can see street camera footage of him recorded, him walking a little ways, and then you see something following him, another individual, shadowed individual following him after. Mm -hmm. Yeah. A, a camera up the road catches him running, followed by one of his bodyguards. He left with two. Yeah. And then cams lo lose track after that. You can't get access to his comm link, and you can't get access to the police records. And that was outside of his club. Or you club. haven't been able to get that, yeah. that was outside of his club. And then that was a couple of blocks yeah, outside yeah, of yeah, his club. Yeah, the club. Yeah. The club, yeah. The club that he rented the room at. And then and then just up the street from there. How, so how soon was that after we we left him? Or yeah, was what's, it just, what's the yeah, time what's the stamp, time stamp, on, stamp that? on that? Yeah, so I'm assuming you're communicating everything to the Yeah, to the, yeah I was to just going to say, yeah. Okay. Um, the... It was right after. So he left before you all did and said, don't stay too long. This room is expensive. I'm paying by the minute. Right, right, right. And then he left. So it was right before you all left. Oh. Guys, this is bad. He's gone and uh, not gone and he's dead. I'm going to assume he's dead. Someone followed him off to one of his guards and then we can't find anything about him. And it was right after we met him. Did you see who was following him? No, some figure, some, some dark figure. Was following him outside of the Wait, club. You said, outside of the club. You said only one of his guards was with him. Only one of his guards. First, there were two, and then one gone. Where's but the second where's guard, the guard? Where's the other guard? Is it still not in the building? No, he left. With he two. left with two, and then on the next camera, there's only one, and he's oh. running, and so is the other guard. Gotcha. So we're presuming that the other guard's dead. I'm yes. gonna make that guess. Yeah. One we got taken out. They're on the run, and then his signatures gone. disappeared. Okay, uh, I have a thought here. Why right. don't we go find? We know that there are cameras everywhere in this forsaken city. We go look at the cameras around the club and see if we can find out who was following him and or piece together whatever the hell happened afterwards, right? You can hack in, you can hack into the cameras around the club, the other storefronts, lighting fixtures, all that shit. We can try and get in there and piece together the rest of the store. Can I, while I'm already here, hack into other cameras anywhere? Uh, those are the only cameras that pinged him. Pinged in. There's so no, the uh, no, 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 But if we, what about ping the guard? What about, yeah, can yeah, I? What about the two guards? The, the guard or the following, the person following? That was all of it. That was but, all we got. Yeah. But if we go to. And those were just the increments of the cameras that they followed. Right, until right, right. They were so basically, you're saying what we're what we're asking for, we essentially just did. We yeah. just called it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Exactly. You got all the data you could from cameras. There's well, still yeah. Comlink, and there's still police records, which you couldn't get. Can I? Can I? When you say police records, yeah, the police database. Like you weren't able to hack into the police database. Like you, Lone just, you, Star? you didn't roll well enough to be able to to log into the Lone Star police database. The bodyguard was I... off in the street. That's got to be on police record. That's true. I was yeah, that's say, true. Can I try to hack you in can again? Try again? And can I? Yep. Can Glor Remember assist? that you now have two marks. Um, right. One to get user access, and then now one to get admin access. Okay. So yeah. and more. those successes would count towards it. So it was uh, three. The second time, how many successes did you get for the user access? Do we remember? Five. So eight more on your on your on your god score. So eight more on my god score. Yeah. Shit. Okay. It goes to forty. So. All right. But I'm at eighteen. Glorp but it will be minus me three up. from Glorp, right? Yeah. So that's uh, so the last 15, three actions. The last three actions. Every time. So and, and how often? Every time he erases three actions. Three. Yeah. Every time, I guess. Okay. Yeah. So, so then. Yeah, okay. So yeah. then I lose another three. three so yeah. it's back to twelve. Yeah. Okay. All right, we're okay. fine. Okay. Thank and you, Glorp. Then, uh, and then Glorp's going to assist on the hacking for the police. Okay. Okay. While you're in the police thing, because they showed up way faster than they should have. Shit. Yeah. They got information on us, and maybe you can pick up whatever files they have on yeah. us while you're yep, in there, yep, too. Yep. Okay, so wait. Two, three, four. Five, yeah, six, I got nothing. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. And I need twelve by myself. Oof. Oh. You have my luck now. All right, great. Okay, we're okay, fine. Okay. We're fine. Um, and then I need one more. Okay, so this is by myself, but that's not more than half. And then I re-roll two dice. Come on. And then I get your three. So three be from before, or do I have to roll again? Roll again. Roll again. Okay, because I... Okay. Okay. Two successes from there. Two? two more. Yeah. Oh, Does that count? Yeah, I'm gonna say that counts. Yeah. Okay, thank you. All right, we're Whoop. still safe. Okay. We're still safe. 
How many is that then? Four. Four. You had three before, you have four this time? Yeah. Four allows you to at least get access to his phone records, his comm link. Okay. Does not allow you to get access to the police records yet. Damn, what looks so bad? Like, well, did you add her successes in? These. Sorry? Did you add her successes in? Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. oh. Torrin's comm link, his signal goes dead at certain coordinates that you now download and have at a specific spot on a street, a the couple theater. blocks from the last camera footage that was captured. And we gotcha. know that location. She, yeah. she, Wait, knows, that she knows that location. Wait, so his comm link goes so dead at specific his, coordinates. Yeah, we know where his comm link goes dead, which is assume, uh, where I assume he either goes dead or gets picked up. But if he goes dead, we got someone that can jump into the astral plane and maybe see whatever wandering spirit is left behind. Oh. God damn, son. You so just one shot around. Now we're thinking with portals. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Why? Yes. So yes. Yes. We do. So good. Frain, can can uh, is that something we can do remotely, or do we have to go there for him to go to look at the train? I would either have to point. leave my body and leave to there, which he does has to do after time. projection and then travel oh, okay, there, or right. you all go there and then he does that. Well, you got to stick well, together. Yeah, I feel like we together. have to absolutely let's, stick together. Yeah, let's yeah. all go that way. We could protect him, and then maybe there's other clues around that we can yeah. pick up at I the same time. I would love line. to see, look around. Yeah. Maybe you're right about the guard. There's got to yeah, be a record yeah, yeah, of yeah. whatever happened to those two people. I'm it, sorry, guys. I, I did my best. No, no apologize. No, no apologize. Hey, so uh, 5,500, uh, we'll, call it, we'll call it even. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Frenchie, you got your money, right? Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> Frenchie's been like tagging along the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, when am I going to get hey, paid? <laughs> that money. Buys your loyalty and your silence. I, I would not be in the business if that was not the case. That's we're true. watching on every plane. <laughs> <laughs> he, he just sneaks backwards. Okay, <laughs> and I love goes it. away. Are Thank you, you, Joel. Thank you. That's a wrap on Frenchie for this episode. So I so, just love that accent so much. I just want to hear. Oh no! We'll, 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 <laughs> how, how, is Fred, how is how is Frenchie spelled? Oh, we're gonna have to put Frenchie like like it would be I e. I, he like the dog, no, he's a he he's is. a fixer. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. He's, he's, he's a gear. I have a as gear supplier. Oh, gear, oh, gear supplier. Yeah. Missed opportunity. Yeah. Missed opportunity. All right. Okay, so the plan is to try and go there and meet space, and yes. see if you can find. Yes. Okay. Sneaky, sneaky, like. So let's I just... like though. I like before we get in the car, like yeah. as we're prepping to get in the car and everything. Out of earshot, I think I will uh, limp over to live and. Uh, I just want to, I didn't mean to speak on your behalf when it comes to Frenchie. I just didn't like the way he was exploiting you. I feel like we've experienced enough of that today. Well, there was definitely no offense taken. I really appreciate you sticking up for me. Nobody really does that often. Nobody really does that at all. That's why we're in the shit we're in now. I don't mean us, I mean this place. Well, uh, I guess for better or for worse, we're stuck in this and just know I, I have your back and everyone here. Everyone does. And I, I snapped at you both earlier. I'm sorry if I, about that, but I don't, I don't like secrets. I've got a lot of people in my past that I've kept a lot of secrets from me and I, I don't, I just don't like it. You don't got to hide stuff from us. We're in this together. Guess now might be a good time to tell you guys what I saw in the apartment then. What? Well, as soon as I hacked in, everything in the room changed. And it looked like my place my clothes, my life. It wasn't the room we stepped into, it was my room. It wasn't just us they framed, they framed us, but they framed me. They, they got my everything, they, they had my life. Well, who'd you piss off? I, I'm a hacker, who the hell knows? How would they, and, and as like, I'm just, Liv is hearing all of this, is there something I know about the Matrix that like, how would this be possible to do? Is this a virus, like a program that does this, sure. or is this? So the physical stuff would have been taken from your apartment. So somebody went there, cleared oh. out your stuff, 
and oh, planted so there was it in the physical apartment. physical shit from yeah. there. And then the pictures and the stuff on the computer would have been hacked, and that's what Bitbucket is tied to. So they've been to my home. I can't go back. I don't have anything but what's on my body. I mean, well, if it, if it's... I know, I know it sucks to hear, like, well, you can stay with us. I know it doesn't fix the fact that, like, your privacy got immensely invaded. And I'm, I'm a hacker. So I know that, that there is no privacy in the world. Yeah, but, like, it's one thing to have, like, physical things taken from your home and in... Look. Uh, whatever this is... It's we're gonna... New. It's nothing new for me. I just wanted to let you know. No secrets. No there secrets. it is. No. I mean... Do you think this is like a personal thing? Yeah. I mean, like, personal to you? Like, do you have someone... Do you know be honest someone with you, this, do this to you? Not that I haven't been up to now. I just was trying to figure out whether I needed to share it. Seeing the outlaw. We have a history. Yeah, and you do. You can crash there like I do. You no, don't... no, no. Oh, we wait, have wait. a history. Like a, like a history? No, we or... have a history! Oh, okay. And it's not a good one. It's from previous job. It didn't go well. Torin didn't give it to you, did he? No. No. But the point is, the outlaw's the only one I know. Who knows? Besides the people that gave us that job. He's the only one that knows that the job went south because he's the only one that... But I thought... He's the only one that survived. So are we not trusting him now? Is that what no, you're saying? No, we're trusting him, absolutely. Trusting. But he it's knows just so that he knows something. If someone is coming after me, me specifically, maybe we can talk to him and see if there's uh, okay. some connection to what I did, to how I screwed up again. Maybe there's... Maybe there is someone after me. Maybe you should just let me go no. so they don't come after you more. No, fuck that. We're past that. This is personal now. Okay. Man, we're all stuck in it. I'm sorry. I know I say it a lot, but I have reason to. Listen, we all, we all, all do to. like illegal shit to eat at the end of the day. Yeah, but we don't. Let me ask you a question. Why does a rat hunt in the trash. Is this food then? Is this rhetorical? I'm not because really Because we don't rhythm. give food to the rats. They gotta hunt the trash. Okay. Same thing with us. We ain't doing nothing wrong. This world ain't for us. It ain't for me. Hasn't been for me in a long time. I believe me, I feel that. So we stop apologizing. Right now, we decide we're gonna take back what's ours. The only thing I've got that's mine that I want back is my name. I don't care about anything else. All I've got is this job. Not anymore. None of us. We're not alone anymore. We can't be if we're gonna be successful. We falter, we die. They don't want us alive. I don't know. Agreed. I think that Whatever was going down, we were set up and they knew that the hacker on our team was going to be the one to plug into that. That was all by design. Yeah. They knew we were going to that place yeah. specifically for us. They it, was, it was a complete setup. Completely. That confirms it. Having all of your, I mean, that's that's it. But why you and not, at, we're, still, we're still at the safe house. Right? We're, we still, they, we're still at the store. We're no, at the store. Oh, that's right. We're still at the store. That's right. We're at the store. I need a. I'm gonna try to um, uh, 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 communicate with Outlaw because okay. this is new information. Sure. And why are they after you and not him? He survived that too. It was a maybe they're after all of us, but they were sending a message because you're the hacker. Uh, I'm trying to reach out to Outlaw. Okay. So uh, how do you like to do that? You want to call him? Do you want to text him? Calling him like I normally do. Okay. Sure. Yeah. Uh, there's no answer at the moment. 
There's no answer. No. Is that in like a normal sure? way? In like a Hey, please leave yeah, yeah, your voice it, message. It goes to his voice message. Okay. okay. He's not starting his next job until tomorrow. That's what he said, yeah. He could be asleep. Could be on his yeah. way. All right. Well, you know what? I, I, I'll try him later. I know that time is of the essence. If we need to go back to that location where uh, where Skelly was last, we think. Yeah. Yeah. Or, 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 or the trail gets cold. Yeah. So yeah. I'm, I'm going to give you the coordinates since you're the vehicle. Okay. Which coordinates you going specifically to where his phone... Where his calm... Calm went, d- went dead. Dead, yeah. right? Okay. Is that right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. That last, very last one. So right. should we do those coordinates and be like a hair's length away? Or do we want to just go... Because we want to make sure that he can check on the astral plane, but we don't want to be in that exact no. specific so space, we, we right? Say, a block away. I just got to be, near, I just gotta be nearby. Two, two nearby. blocks away. Okay. Now, is there any way of altering the appearance of our vehicle? Frenchie. We, we, yeah, we, didn't you Frenchy, ask for that? I asked, uh, uh, I, I hope it got to you, but Frenchie, hey, Frenchie. I asked for uh, uh, some sort of thing to throw over my uh, my car, uh, like to cloak it. I hope I hope that's included in our package. Is that included? I will in look package? into it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll look into it. Okay. Still okay. All right. <laughs> to be continued. All right. We just got to be discreet. So I say three blocks away, yep. and then go on foot, and, and in the sky. Yep. Quick okay. and quiet. All right. You all jump into the jeep. You head in that direction. You park three blocks away. It is a nondescript side street, fairly dark. Um, you head up and you can see kind of where that coordinates are uh, three blocks away. You start to move in that direction. Is there anything specifically that you want to do? I think we just don't even need to move in that direction. Oh, we oh, need sorry. to send him in astrally to take okay, a look. Are you going to astrally project? It's like, he is like, yeah, yeah, hold on. Of course, I'm not, I, of course, it looks like I'm not happy with this. And of course, I'm going to lean back and sit down at the thing and, and, and close my eyes. And just like, the, you know, very much similar to how um, Trigger looks when she leaves her body, you see my head go like this and then Slim yeah. forward, and I'm in the astral. Yeah, and as you do, your body kind of leaves, and then you start to move, and you're so you're astrally projecting and not looking. I am astrally projecting because okay. I'm still in the vehicle. I've got to leave this vehicle. Yeah. So your spirit self kind of uh, floats out of your body. You kind of look down. You see everyone's sort of essence, mm-hmm. um, especially yours, uh, which you take note of again, and then you start to move in that direction. As you move in that direction, you get to a point, and you can see that it's like a T junction, um, two alleyways, and there is a dumpster. Um, a couple doors that lead into buildings, uh, nondescript back doors um, for businesses, uh, and then and like a couple manhole covers. Nothing, nothing really standing out to me nothing though. You can see from a from check, a check cursory the dumpster. view. <laughs> check the dumpster. Um, I'll go ahead and actually predict because it's only the dumpster that I can't see into, right? Right. Then I'll go ahead and I'll actually project and kind of go through the dumpster real quick, make sure I'm peeking inside there and make sure there isn't left anything behind there. Because yeah. I can't see through it. I can only actively look inside of it. Yeah. So as you kind of look inside and you can, astrally, you can move through things mm-hmm. uh, in physical space. So you start to kind of move through as your eyes look. And in the corner of the dumpster, you see that there is a Comlink tablet that has been snapped in half that, that sits at the bottom of the dumpster. And nothing else, just the snapped in half? Yeah, and then garbage and everything else, but it's basically been like purposely snapped in half. Can those be recovered? Like if, if something was physically broken, could you try to piece it and gather and, and get info from Possibly. it? Possibly, depends on how damaged the, the circuitry was inside. Okay. And he can't like tell us everything that's going on. No, no I'm, I'm by myself right now. No. Okay. Yeah. Um, I take a quick peek just a little bit further down the road. I'm not seeing anything further down where maybe another yeah. camera would have been. As you come back out of the dumpster, you kind of peek around again. And just out of the corner of your eye, you see these long sort of like skeletal emaciated fingers outside of the dump, uh, outside of the manhole, kind of retract inside and disappear. And that's where we're getting in this session for this. What? Oh, no! <laughs> Get used to the Kickstarter. <laughs> the exact, oh, exact, the fingers, y'all, they're real. Yeah. All right, we will see you next episode. We'll see you next week. Once again, 
<laughs> enter excommunication into uh, the chat no, in order no, to win no, no, this amazing no, shadow run six we're going into world the sewers. beginner uh, box uh, uh, as well look, look, tune look. in right after this on the catalyst youtube channel for our after talk for this show we'll be talking about all the wonderful things uh and kind of take a deep dive into some of the mechanics and some of the things that happened uh over there so thank you very much if you liked what you saw tonight again consider subscribing and sharing and thumb upping Thumb up, 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 up,